Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Gutenberg Block Development. In today's video, we are going to talk about inspector controls, or maybe we should simplify this and see what is inspect controls and what we should use it, why we should use it, okay? So if you follow up my videos, you can you know that we already created a block, a simple block, and we already learned a lot about Gutenberg block development. Now it's time to get to know the settings sidebar of Gutenberg block, all right? So let's get back to our website. And in here, guys, let's go to block editor handbook. By the way, guys, this uh, documentation is really helpful. You should read it and with uh, because it will give you a lot of deep knowledge. All right. So if you have the time, please read this documentation. In here, we have uh, an image which it it's tell us which part we should call what. For example, uh, the part one we should call it block inserter. The second or the middle one, we should call it block editor content area. And the third part, we should call it settings sidebar. We already talked about the, uh, sec the first and the second one already, not a lot, but uh, at least we talked about these two and we worked with these two, but we didn't work with the third uh, section or the settings sidebar. So what is the settings sidebar? Guys, if you click in one of the custom, one of the default blocks of the Gutenberg, you will find yourself a sidebar settings, which you can have an edit part, an edit section regarding to that uh, a specific block. Okay, so for example, if I have here a text, I will see all of the settings of regarding to that text. If I, for example, have a, an image, let's add another one, for example, an image, I will see all of the settings related to that specific image uh, component. Okay, so we want to learn how we can add one of these cool settings to our own custom block. So let's get started and see what should we do. And I will share you uh, this link into the description and you can find pretty much anything we need for this session, okay? So let's see how we can add an inspector and an inspector settings here yeah i find it finally i can copy this part and move to edit section here i will paste this i for for now i just need this in a specter controls okay and i don't need this too and i am going to save this why my Prettier doesn't work. Never mind. Okay, guys, I have my inspector control. If I copy this and move on here and paste it right over here, I'm sorry, not this, this one. And in here, I just want to type something. For example, this is in a specter controls components or area for example and I am going to save this let's get back to our code and refresh this one if I click here I, I, I'm sorry before we are doing that we need something else because uh, right now if I click here I cannot see anything okay guys before doing that, we should have another thing that we need because if we don't uh, add that one, 
this doesn't work because uh, the Gutenberg doesn't know that we are clicking right on this okay in order to say to Gutenberg if I click on this please show me my settings we need to do something okay so we what we should do what the thing that we should do is use block props I am going to copy this from here add it to our code and also let's see what should we do yeah you see use block props I should pass this as a parameter here because this will add a lot of default classes and data to our uh, node in order to say to Gutenberg please know my block and please add it to your settings so if I refresh this attempt recovery let's see what we did here post no title edit and yeah if I click here now the Gutenberg knows my block now in this area I can click on this and if you can see I have this is in a specter control area and I can add any settings that I want in here all right so let's add something for example really easy okay uh, for example we want to change this title first of all let's uh, change this to for example h4 because now it's really big and we can not see it properly I'm refreshing this yeah this should be good and Gutenberg block development no let's just delete this one like this okay if I see the post this is should be it now get back here and see one of these examples mm. text control yeah maybe importing text control and I just want to have this one why I cannot see in a specter control never mind I am going to choose another one let's component references and I should search for text control maybe I can find it oh my god yeah here text control now you can see this is just an input which I can use so I should use these two no I, I am going to use attributes and I don't need to use a state so I can move on here import text control and also add this one into our inspector control let's save it okay the value is set value so the value I am going to change this right now uh, right now I can just comment this for now let's get back here and refresh the page okay I should also get back here because I don't have any class name right now I should also command comment this as well let's get back here now I have this right now this is a value this is a, an input a simple input which I can use in order to change this title for example okay so if I want to change this title how should I do that all right the way that we should do that is really simple I should here I have the value I have access to the value right over here okay so let's try something I can say set attribute here 
and in here I will just need to say title should be equals to this value pretty simple right and if I go back here and refresh the page now if I change this this title should be changed but why is not changing okay I should pass the value as well here and also all right now let's test and now it should work why it wasn't working because I should have uh, stopped the terminal and run the command one more time sometimes guys this happens and you should know that you should always check your terminal okay so let's get back into our code and if you can see I can change anything I want and pretty much change the title update it and if I go here I see the changes right away so that's it for this video i will continue this on the next one so i will see you there